Senator Chuck Schumer frantically pushes off the Build Back Better stimulus package bill in order to focus on the debt ceiling crisis. Janet Yellen of the Treasury says the U.S. is days away from running out of money and defaulting for the first time. Are UFOs real? Based on the publicly shared tasks of the Pentagon's new UFO task force, I'm going to say they know more than what they've been telling us. All of this and more in today's update. Hello and welcome to today's November 30th daily news report, as well as ongoing stimulus package information video. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now, because on this channel, I keep you up to date on what's really going on in Washington, D.C., the U.S. economy, Biden's Build Back Better stimulus package, money investing, and much, much more. All right, now don't forget to take 20 seconds to follow the link to the cash giveaway Casey and I are doing. 24 people are going to win $250 in cash, and 10 of you are going to win $500 in cash for a total of $11,000 to 34 winners. Now, that contest ends tonight, and the winners will be randomly selected and notified using the email they provided. If you win, you will get an email from me, and I will not ask for your banking information or any personal information. I will also not alert you in the comments section, so don't fall for scammers, and good luck to the winners. By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really appreciate it, and I love bringing you guys the news. All right, now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is a little bit frantic, and he's switching up the narrative that we've been hearing for the last week. Instead of making Biden's Build Back Better stimulus package the top priority, he says the Senate needs to focus on the debt ceiling crisis and the annual budget so that the government doesn't run out of money and shut down. Janet Yellen of the Treasury said, if Congress doesn't get the debt ceiling crisis handled right away, it will eviscerate the recovery the U.S. has had so far. Here's what she had to say. I cannot overstate how critical it is that Congress address this issue. America must pay its bills on time and in full. If we do not, we will eviscerate our current recovery. In a matter of days, the majority of Americans would suffer financial pain as critical payments like Social Security checks and military paychecks would not reach their bank accounts, and that would likely be followed by a deep recession. On Monday, she wrote to members of Congress to express the urgency with which they need to act. She also said that although she liked Biden's infrastructure bill uh, that passed recently, as Treasury, it gave her limited flexibility for helping the country. Now, in my video last night, I told you that there was going to be a lot of scary news discussed this week. Um, I do believe uh, that it's all going to work out, but I'm presenting to you what's in the news, uh, but I want to just give this with the caveat that I, I think it's all going to work out. So I'm not trying to cause panic uh, or fear like I'm seeing headlines uh, using uh, fear on other major news sites, but I do need to be real with you about what is going on right now in Washington, D.C., Schumer said he is actually holding up the Build Back Better bill on purpose because he wants to see if the Senate parliamentarian will approve the 20 million people gaining citizenship. The parliamentarian has already said it doesn't fit the Senate rules of budget reconciliation, but Schumer wanted to give it one more chance to be included. On a positive note, Schumer said he and Mitch McConnell are working well together on funding the government and avoiding a shutdown. Neither Senator Sinema or Manchin are saying much to the press about the changes that they want to see in the Build Back Better stimulus package or how they will vote. Manchin said he is open to talking and will do so when Chuck Schumer is ready to sit down. Former President Trump told McConnell yesterday to use the debt ceiling uh, situation as leverage to shrink the Build Back Better bill, which is wasteful spending and does very little to help the American people. Trump and McConnell are not on speaking terms, but this was in the news, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, Joe Manchin uh, did say in an interview that the Build Back Better bill is in the Senate, but that no one has read it. And so how can he talk about how he'll vote? 
or even discuss it with the media until it's been read. Democrat Senator John Tester seemed to confirm Manchin's comment when he said they haven't dug into the Build Back Better bill yet. So basically, they're, they're not even reading it, right? And, and so <laughs> this whole thing is just, it's chaos in Washington, D.C. right now. Manchin said he decided to go home for Thanksgiving rather than stay in D.C. He said everyone he spoke with mentioned how expensive life has become. He said the people he represents are upset and concerned that things might actually get worse. He doesn't want to be a part of making things worse. And so it, it kind of pulled at his heartstrings to actually speak with real live Americans and hear the struggles that they're dealing with. Schumer said the best Christmas gift he could give to President Biden this year would be the completed Build Back Better bill with immigration reform on his desk to be signed. Manchin also mentioned his concern about how large the section for new green energy is. He said it doesn't look like a smooth transition. He said he is concerned it's all too much and is concerned about giving extra tax credit for buying from unions. He said that's not how capitalism works, even with incentives to move the country in a certain direction. He said he plans to address this with Schumer and Biden at the appropriate time. Now, speaking of energy and crazy government stuff, the Pentagon has officially set up a task force to monitor and investigate UFOs, or UPAs as they prefer to call them, uh, according to Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks, the team will be investigating 150 known reports of UFOs, as well as dozens and dozens of video footage uh, to see what is really going on. Since 2004, 143 UFO sightings have happened over sensitive areas of the world and our country, as if whatever this is, is trying to capture U.S. technology information. 21 of the videos show advanced propulsion capabilities, with some showing no signs of heat coming out the backside like you would see on a jet. So just to make this really clear, it zips across the, the sky, but there's no heat, no propulsion coming out. They can't figure out how these things are moving at hundreds or thousands of miles per hour with no propulsion technology. So that will also be a part of the research. Now, the Pentagon wants to understand uh, if this is spying from China or Russia, or if we are indeed being monitored by civilizations uh, not from this world. Uh, the amount of alien sightings has increased since World War II when the atom bombs were dropped. So big thing, all of a sudden, alien sightings all over the planet at an increased rate. I'm not saying that it's happening. I'm, I'm just telling you guys what's in the news, all right? Now, I want to hear from you in the comments. Is this a massive cover-up? Uh, and secretly, the government already knows that aliens exist? Uh, is this spying by a foreign enemy uh, or a nation that has better stealth technology than the United States? Or is this something from out of this world? I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments. Uh, a lot being talked about with UFOs right now. Okay, now a federal judge has blocked 10 states from having to comply with Biden's medical vaccine mandate. The judge cited it was borderline not constitutional. The judge said there was insufficient evidence to show President Biden has authority to force medical treatment on medical workers. Several hospital CEOs breathed a sigh of relief with this news, stating that they would have had to fire upwards of 30% or more of their staff, causing massive shortages in medical treatment. Several ERs across the country have been unable to open because of staffing issues. Yesterday, President Biden met with top CEOs from all over the country to discuss the supply chain crisis. He was then to hold a press conference to tell the nation how they were solving the crisis and port issues. Instead, the presser was canceled last minute with only 15 minutes of notice, and the White House won't say why President Biden won't address the nation about the supply chain crisis. 
Twitter's new CEO on his first day made a massive shift in company policy. He said going forward, there will be no posts using people's photos, videos, or even memes with people in them without the person's direct permission. So no funny memes, no news stories with people's photos or videos, no pictures of the president or people in leadership positions or celebrities. Uh, people on Twitter are saying, what the heck do we post on Twitter now, right? This could be the beginning of the end for Twitter, or maybe they're just shifting into a world, a word only platform. Uh, it does kind of make you wonder though, uh, what is it that they think is coming out that they don't want the American people to see in photos or videos, right? I don't know. I know this, Twitter stock dropped by 6.5% upon announcing this new restrictive policy. Well, uh, now uh, we are finding out that the number one person causing an increase in gun sales is President Joe Biden. Gun sales are through the roof this year as Americans arm themselves with rising crime in every major city. In fact, the FBI released data yesterday that it has ran 187,585 background checks for guns on Black Friday alone, on one day, right? I guess Americans don't want to become Europe or Australia with no way to defend themselves against crime or their own government. Lastly, Department of Homeland Security head Alejandro Mayorkas announced that he will do everything in his power to ensure illegal aliens are not deported from the United States. He feels they have a right to be here and plans to also shrink the authority of ICE or Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency agents' ability to arrest and deport illegal aliens. Um, I, I must have misunderstood. Uh, I thought his sole job was to keep the country and our borders safe and block illegal entry into our country, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, he sees his job as making people that were able to sneak into the country comfortable and pays for it using taxpayer dollars. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. Uh, a lot is going to be happening this week with the debt ceiling situation, the military budget, Biden's Build Back Better stimulus package. It's all being talked about, but apparently none of it's being read, according to multiple senators' comments uh, but they're going to be passing all of this or else the country is going to run out of money and things are going to get really, really bad right before Christmas. Again, I don't want to cause any fear. I think it's all going to work out. It has how many times in the past, but they've got to work on this. And so that's the big focus right now and wanted to bring that to your attention because it's what's in the news. All right. Now, before you go, do make sure to get your name entered for that cash giveaway. It ends tonight. And I'm hoping to do a big one in the month of December, but I'm still negotiating with some key video sponsors. 24 of you are going to win $250 and 10 of you are going to win $500. Again, the winners, the winners will be randomly chosen and emailed using the email used to sign up for the contest. I will not announce it in the comments section. And if you get an email that you don't think is me, you'll know I will never ask you for your personal information. That's not who I am. I don't need any of your money. I just want to give you some of mine. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.